Today, I'll take y'all step by step on how I make the creamiest spinach dip. I'll also give you a few alternatives in this recipe, as well as the best fried bow tie that'll elevate any type of spinach dip to the next level. I'm telling y'all, it's pressure. But before we get started, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on those push notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Now let's get into it. So boom, of course the star of the whole show is going to be the spinach. Then for a little added touch, we're going to come with our shallots and garlic. It'll add the perfect flavor to the spinach dip. Our seasonings are going to be Cajun seasoning and ranch mix. And to add some creaminess, we need our sour cream, cream cheese, some Parmesan, mozzarella, or your favorite cheese, a little butter, and if you want to add a little added touch, add some hot sauce to it. So first, we want to get a bowl and add our spinach. You could have any variety of spinach from frozen chopped spinach to fresh spinach. Today, we're going to go with the fresh spinach. Make sure you rinse it off thoroughly, and then we're going to go ahead and chop it up. And you really don't have to go crazy with this. Just give it a nice rough chop. If you're going to use frozen spinach over the fresh spinach, just make sure you rinse it off and strain all the water as much as possible because it retains a lot of water and you don't want a soupy spinach dip. Now, when it comes to the rest of the vegetables, you want to use either a shallot or an onion. Personally, I like to use a shallot over a regular onion. It's a more mild flavor. It isn't as tangy as a regular onion and it has some characteristics of garlic. And not saying this is the healthiest dish, but shallots are more nutritious than regular onions as well. So next time you make any recipe that calls for onions, try to replace it with shallots and then see how you like it. Now that we chopped our shallots nice and fine, we're going to come with our garlic. Garlic is one of those aromatics that just takes any savory dish to the next level. You cook them down in some butter and it just, pff, Lord have mercy. So that's exactly what we're about to do. Get a hot skillet and then we're going to add two tablespoons of butter. I will be putting out the full measurements for this whole recipe into the description below. So y'all check that out. We're going to start off by sauteing our shallots. This isn't going to take long, maybe about three minutes. And then we're going to add in our garlic. This definitely doesn't take long. We're just going to saute this down for about 30 seconds or until fragrant. Once everything is nice and tender, we're going to come with as much spinach as the Lord allows. I used about a whole pound of spinach right here. If you're using frozen spinach, you don't really have to do this part. We just need to cook down the spinach right now since it's fresh and it doesn't take any time to cook down spinach. It just took about one to two minutes and now it's nice and tender. We're going to go ahead and add our vegetables straight to a bowl. And now it's just a matter of adding the rest of our ingredients. First, we have sour cream. Then come with your favorite cream cheese. You can either use regular cream cheese, the spread, or go the cheap route and use the great value version. Now, you can use whatever cheese you want, but I think Parmesan works best. And there's so many variety of ways Parmesan comes. Use what's best for you. I like to use the grated Parmesan. It's just easier and it mixes well into the spinach dip. Go ahead and add in the bowl. Again, all the measurements will be in the description. Go ahead with your ranch mix and your Cajun seasoning. Remember, if you ain't sneezing, it ain't season. And this part is optional. I went ahead and added a little bit more cheese. That one was a quesadilla blend. Again, with all my recipes, you could doctor it up to your liking. Add some stuff. You can put your hot sauce, whatever you like. And make sure your cream cheese is softened so when you mix it, it just goes through. Once it's well blended, we're going to go ahead and put that to the side and add it into an oven safe dish. I really like to add it to a cast iron, but if you have just a regular baking dish, you could just use that as well. And then we're going to top it off with as much cheese as the Lord allows. This right here would be fresh mozzarella that I grated all on top of it. This will melt down in the oven and give you that classic golden brown crust that we all know and love in spinach dip. We're going to put this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes and then under the broiler for three minutes after. And of course, we need something to scoop up this creamy dip. And for that, we're going to come with our bow tie pasta. To do this, is super simple. Just salt some water, bring it to a boil, add your pasta in, and we're going to cook it al dente. For this specific brand, it only took about 11 minutes. And again, you could always use just regular chips, but this is just going to intensify this dish and make it more gourmet. Now to batter it up, we're going to need flour, egg, and then some Italian breadcrumbs. And as far as the flour, we don't need to add any seasoning to it. This is just to help the egg wash stick. Just coat your pasta up, and then we're going to remove it from the flour. And there's different ways you can make an egg wash. This is just simply egg, water, and some hot sauce. You could do it with milk, throw in some Italian seasoning, whatever. Lastly, we're going to dredge it in our Italian breadcrumbs. You could also add equal parts grated Parmesan just for a little extra touch. Make sure you shake off the excess batter, and I'm going to show you all two ways to cook this pasta. The first method would be to air fry it. Air frying is so convenient, less messy. You just put it in an even layer, and then we're going to put it in the air fryer for about five minutes on 400 degrees, flip it over and then cook it for another two to three minutes. It's that simple. Then you have my favorite method of all with anything that has a batter is to just fry it. 
I use vegetable oil. You want to get it to about 320 degrees, fry it for about a minute or two, and then it'll be nice and golden brown. And this is a side by side comparison. On my left, I have the air fried version. On the right, I have the fried version. It's really no big difference. Whatever you like, go with that. But of course, I went with the fry. Just look at that. <laughs> Yes, Lord. And if you time this all perfectly, you're going to pop out your spinach dip at the perfect time. It'll be nice and golden brown on top, ready to serve at any party, any event. It's going to be the best thing there. Add some fresh Parmesan on top of your pasta and then hit it with some parsley to make the whole dish healthy. And don't forget the ingredient list is in the description. If y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and that push notification. And just like my name, you're all done.